What's up, my real ones? Headed to, uh, well, not headed. I'm here at work. And I have I <laughs> Tic Tacs in my mouth because I don't play about, like, bad breath. <laughs> but anyway, the reason I'm coming to y'all today is basically to encourage the people that had to be survivors so young. I realized some traits that I have being that I always been like a survivor as far as like in the mindset of man, I got to get it like me first parking spaces, anything like it's like me first survivors. You can get out of that mindset in this season. The way we're going to grow higher is to basically give ourselves away to die to flesh, to lean not to our own understandings, but to trust completely in God. When you have been a survivor for so long and feel like you've always been on your own and, you know, you have certain traits, like I want to verbalize it so well, but I'm not sure how to because it's so embedded in me. But it's just like basically a selfish attitude. Y'all, let's get rid of the selfishness and just literally give ourselves away. Start serving in this season. Start saying yes more than we say no. It's our time to shine, survivors. And when I say survivors, I mean people that since day one, you know, didn't have guidance and was on their own and had to always look out for self. Like me personally, I had to look out for self. I had a seven, I was pregnant at 17 and I moved out probably like around 18 because I didn't want to be a burden on my mom. And Lord, I can go down a rabbit hole, but I always want to be respectful of everybody involved in the situation. Just know, let's reinvent ourselves. Let's be kind. Let's be loving. Let's be patient. Let's go after God with everything in this. I got to get into work. My hair is still a little wet, y'all. That's my little message for y'all today. We about to get it. Only got a couple hours today. I ain't going to do too much, but let's get it. Love y'all.